Uh, medications are one of the many tools that clinicians use to care for patients uh, with both acute and chronic illness. But medications don't work unless the patients are able to take them exactly as they're prescribed and unless the physician is able to understand how those medications are interacting with the patient's own signs and symptoms. So an important tool in optimizing the use of medications is medication reconciliation. Good medication reconciliation prevents us from wasting dollars with medications that are prescribed uh, and not used appropriately, and also ensures that the patients are safe as they're taking medications and not running into problems because they have misunderstood the instructions that were given to them by physicians um, or are having symptoms that we weren't quite aware of. Now, medication reconciliation compares the medications that the patient is actually taking, what they're actually putting in their mouth and swallowing, with the medication that was prescribed by their practicing clinician. Usually, medication reconciliation is performed by someone on the team other than the prescribing physician or uh, other clinician, such as a nurse practitioner or a pharmacist. And it happens before the clinician engages with the patient. So when the clinician goes in to see the patient, they are already aware of circumstances in which the patients are not getting optimal benefit from their medication. Called. The goals of medication reconciliation, or MedRec as it's often called, are to create an accurate list of medications that the patient is actually taking, to educate the patients about their prescribed medications, how they should be taking them, what anticipated signs and symptoms um, might occur as a result of taking those medications, and importantly, when they should begin to feel better. To discover and address barriers to taking medications, such as I don't have enough money to, to buy the prescribed medication, or the pills are too big for me to swallow, or I have a new colored pill because my pharmacist changed from a brand name to a generic name. It can also inform clinicians about what the patient is actually taking so we can make good decisions about uh, how to adjust their medication regimen in the future. I'm certain that if you had the opportunity to save a patient from a potentially fatal medication problem or to optimize a patient's health by ensuring they get the medications that were prescribed, you'd be thrilled to do so. And so what I'd like you to do is take a few minutes and watch this next video that will show how easy it is to learn to become a really effective individual who works on medication reconciliation in support of our patient's health. The questions a coach would ask during medication reconciliation are, what is the name of this medication? What is this medication for? How many milligrams are you taking? How are you supposed to be taking this medication? Have you been able to take the medication as prescribed? If the patient has not been able to take the medication as prescribed, the coach would ask, what is preventing you from taking the medication as prescribed? And, do you need any refills? In this next scene, the health coach, RMBN, does not do medication reconciliation properly. He scolds the patient when she tells him her medications are making her sick. Good morning, Sharice. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, let's talk about your medication. Do you have them with you? Oh, I sure do. Good. HCTZ, 25 milligrams. That's right, too. Have you been taking all of these medications, like I, how it says on the labels? No. Why not? Well, I take two of the medications, but the other ones make me feel dizzy. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's just part of the side effects. In order for you to stay healthy, you have to take all of these medications. I'm not going to take any medicine that makes me all dizzy. I understand, but... It's very important to take these medications, as Dr. Jones said. Well, every time I call the clinic to tell them about my headaches, no one answers the phone, so I just give up. Okay. Um, that makes sense, but as long as you follow the directions on the labels, it should be okay. I'm not going to take any medicine that makes me dizzy. And did you talk to Dr. Jones about this? Well, every time I call, nobody's answering the phone. What about your next appointment? Well, when is my next appointment? I'm not sure. Good morning, Sharice. How are you today? Fine, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, Dr. Jones asked me to do something called MedRec, which is when we go over your medications. Mm -hmm. Would that be okay with you? Sure. Okay, did you bring your medications? 
Oh, yes, I did. Oh, it's very good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. a lot of them. That's a lot to keep track of. <laughs> okay, um, let's go over this one first. Um, can you tell me what this medicine is called? Metformin. Metformin, that's right. Now, did you and Dr. Jones get a chance to talk about what this medicine is for? Oh, yes. My metformin is to lower my blood sugars. That's exactly right. Now, can you tell me from this label how many milligrams each pill has? 500 milligrams. 500. And then can you keep reading and let me know how, how you're supposed to take this medicine? Two pills twice a day. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been taking one pill in the morning and one pill in the evening. I've only been taking two pills, and this says two pills twice a day. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's completely understandable. It happens to a lot of patients. These labels can be really confusing. And so, but it is very important that we keep note of how you've been taking this medicine. Would that be okay with you if I wrote it down for Dr. Jones? Yes. Okay. Okay, and so just so we're on the same page, can you tell me again how you're supposed to take this medicine? I'm supposed to take two in the morning and two in the evening instead of one in the morning and one in the evening. Okay, and how many milligrams will you be taking in each day? I will be taking now 2,000 milligrams Exactly a day. right, exactly right. Okay, um, can you tell me from this label, that's this part of the label, how many refills you have left? I have three refills. Okay, and do you think you need one right now? Yes. Okay, I'll let Dr. Jones know as well. But um, you can also go to the pharmacy and fill out the prescription yourself. Do you have any questions about that? No. Okay. Um, well, do you want to ask me anything about metformin? Uh, no, I think you answered all my questions. Okay, great. Um, which one do you want to go over next? 